Today I thought that I would share with you my favorite easy to make Hawaii snacks. When I was in college, I spent a lot of time with my Hawaii club friends making snacks and foods to help remind us of home. And I also thought that I would share with you guys how to make a money lay. It's a really cool DIY thing since graduation time is coming up and it's a great present to give. Hope you guys enjoy this Hawaii themed vlog. Let's start the day. Gatsby's eating his breakfast. Yeah, mmm. We are going to be making Hawaii snacks. These are the snacks that people from Hawaii eat. I'm excited to make it because it's gonna bring back tons of memories. On top of that, the food should be incredibly easy to make just because I chose the really simple, easy recipes. First, I need to go and get the ingredients, which I actually ended up getting yesterday and I vlogged. So let's head off to Ryan in the past. Here we go. Welcome to yesterday. I'm going to be going to the supermarket to buy all the ingredients that we need for our Hawaii snacks. So let's go. Sweetened flaked coconuts. Grab some coconut milk. Mochiko sweet rice flour. And I get baking powder. <laughs> I'm just gonna get regular flavor. This is like what everyone in Hawaii eats. Corn starch, some vanilla extract, whole milk. And eggs. Okay, that's all we need. See you guys back home tomorrow. Okay, are we ready to make the butter mochi? Let's get started. And here's a recipe for butter mochi. We need half a cup of butter to be melted. Bowl. To make it melt faster, let's just cut the butter up. Power three. 45 seconds. Start. Okay, awesome. But first, let's preheat the oven to 350 degrees. In a medium bowl right here, we're gonna add five eggs. One, two, three, four, five. Three cups of whole milk. One, two, three. One teaspoon vanilla extract. Okay, now we set this aside. In a separate bowl, we add the other ingredients. Two and a half cups of white sugar. One pound of the sweet rice flour, which is the entire box. One teaspoon baking powder. And now we simply just pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients here. And we mix. Next, we pour in the melted butter. One cup of flaked coconut. And now we just pour the ingredients. Awesome, super easy. Now we just stick this in the oven. One hour. Let's do the haupia coconut pudding next. Two cans of coconut milk, sugar, and cornstarch. Let's set the heat to high and pour one cup of water inside the pot. Let's pour the coconut milk inside. There we go. Can number two. And we add one cup of sugar. By the way, I post all the recipes in the description below. So if you're interested in seeing the full recipe, make sure to check that out. Okay, in a separate bowl, we're gonna mix two cups of water with 16 ounces of cornstarch, which is one whole box of cornstarch. If you like touch it and hold it, it's like a solid, like a clay. But then if you stop moving it, watch what happens. It turns into a liquid. Stuff really thickened with the cornstarch. Cornstarch is a thickening agent. Okay, oh yeah, to be honest, I don't think I did this right. It says now that you just cool it. Once it cools down to room temperature, then you put it in the refrigerator. Ah, oh, look at that. Mmm, that looks awesome. Taking my pre workout, I'm gonna hit some legs. See you guys at the gym. Feels pretty good, I got a pretty good pump there. I'm ready to make all these Hawaii foods now. <laughs> now look at what you just saw, this is what you live for. I'm a corgi loving monster. Going to get Gatsby's food at Pet Food Express. The whole foods of dog food. 
There you go, Gatsby. Your new food. Your paws are looking a little bit better already. That vinegar thing seems to be working pretty well. That's good. Uh-oh, I think the Banga Cardinal's dead. Okay, right, he's still alive, but he got stuck between the rocks. I think he's gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna take you out before the fish eat you. Oh, sorry, dude. Looks like I'm like getting ready for a luau here. <laughs> Here's our haupia. I'm not quite sure. This doesn't look like what I usually eat, but we'll see. It's supposed to be like, like jello. Yeah. This didn't turn out very good. When I was mixing the cornstarch, the pot overflowed. I lost a lot of something. This looks like it came out perfectly. This is the dangerous stuff. I always end up eating way too much of it. It's very good. It's like chewy, but it has like a crunchy crust on it. This is so good. I could eat this all day long. We're gonna go and pick up our free Darkrai Pokemon from GameStop. I have this Pikachu backpack, so much swag. Sean, you need this. I need a great ball. Oh no, look, Pokeball backpack. This is a dive ball, right? Yeah. Premier ball. A rare one, it's in the back. Sold out of Darkrai cards. It's so rare. We're at the Asian market, we're gonna go in. Gatsby, crazy cool body water, <laughs> unscented. Look at all this Gatsby stuff, shaving gel. Gatsby. For one of these, but smaller. And why do they look like condom packaging? <laughs> That's how it's packaged in Japan. I'm gonna get this one, the rice seasoning. Sean got hockey sticks, the cookies and cream one. I got my musubi mold. So next thing on our list, we're making Spam Musubi. Spam Musubi is a huge thing in Hawaii. Actually, Spam is a big thing in Hawaii, if you guys don't know. A lot of people are like, ew, spare parts of anonymous mammals? Is that what Spam stands for? It actually stands for spiced ham. So what you will need is rice, sugar, Spam, seaweed, nori, and soy sauce. Also, we'll need a Spam Musubi mold. First, let's make the soy sauce marinade. Pour some soy sauce inside the bottom of this pan. And then let's just take a spoonful of sugar. You can make it as sweet as you want it. And slice off a few pieces. All we do is marinate it in the sauce here. Just grease the bottom of the pan. By the way, Spam is already cooked. So you could actually just eat it from the can, but it tastes a lot better when it's heated up. Like that. Okay, while we wait for this to fry, I'm preparing the area where we're gonna make the musubi, the rice ball. You usually use wax paper. Rice, stick it inside the mold. And you just press it down. Okay, next we take our spam. Look inside Gatsby's unflavored portion. Pull this through. Kind of like we're making a sushi. Next, we take our seaweed. We wrap this around like this and hold the rice ball together. The Spam Musubi. Mmm. Let's try it out. I have a non-marinated one for Gatsby to try and one for me to try. That was so good. Mmm, thank you. Now it's time for me to show you guys how to make the graduation lay. If you're really special, you get either a candy lay or a money lay. That's what I always used to hope for all the time. I made this for my cousin and it was in the vlog for her graduation. So I thought that I would show you guys how to make it. This is just like my own creation. Check out this footage from yesterday. Okay, going to get the supplies for the money lay. Let's get some of these. 50 cents. These are 29 cents each for the neon colors. I'm trying to match which one I would like. These are the colors I chose. I gotta go to the bank and get some money. 20 bucks in ones from the bank. I was just like, hey, can I switch this into ones? Like, sure. I wonder what they thought it was for. All you'll need is three rolls of ribbon and $20 or so, however much money you want to be giving to the person. Instead of just giving a gift card, this is a great idea to give to somebody instead. And we're gonna braid the ribbon because I don't know any ribbon like folds or anything like that. Make three times as much of this. Now we have our ribbon all at the same length here. Okay, so now we're gonna separate the ribbons into the three colors and tie the ends. It's not for you, Gatsby. So now we have three strands of ribbons here. We just gotta braid them loosely. So in Hawaii, as I said, 
Everyone gives blaze. Graduation is like a huge deal in Hawaii. So when everyone graduates, you get tons and tons of blaze. And once you get to the end of the string, you just tie a knot. Now we're just gonna do this with the other two strings. So now that we have our three strands here, we're just gonna braid these now. Yeah, there we go. Check it out. Next we make the money that goes inside of the lei. I'll show you guys how to do it really fast. You have to fold the money in half, lengthwise. Fold the corners into the crease on both sides. Then you create like a fan, folding lengthwise. So you take it like that, and fold lengthwise this way, back this way. Okay, then you take this and fold it in half again. And these are gonna be the wings. For the bottom part, all you do is you just take a dollar bill and you fold the short ways back and forth like a fan all the way. Now we have this, you fold it in half again like this. You got the butterfly. All we do next is take a little bit of string like so. Once we make a lot of them, we tie them to the lay. Now that we're done with all these butterflies, we just have to space them properly. So I'm gonna do five on either side. There we go. And then we just cut off all the extra strings here. And you can say you made it yourself. Awesome! Woo! Now we match! Ah, gonna bring this for all the owners of the dog park. Nice. Etsby, are you ready to go? <laughs> Get out. My dinner consists of bee vines and more spam musubi. Yeah! And final recipe of the night, I'm gonna be watching a movie, so I thought that I would be making some popcorn. We'd like to add a lot of stuff to our popcorn. Get your rice seasoning, furikake, and we sprinkle it on. Arare, arare is like rice crackers, which has like a soy sauce seasoning on it. Mix around. Mmm. Yeah. Tastes like a little bit of Hawaii. The Hawaii snacks and the Hawaii lei. So Sean can try that. That's like a Hawaii thing. Tastes like pudding. Kind of, right? I did see Captain America, the new one, and I did like it a lot. It made me really excited for the new Spider-Man movie. I think that's, he's like my favorite superhero, Spider-Man. What? I'm gonna get ready to go to bed. Today was a long day, I did so much. That was a lot of food. But definitely I enjoyed it. It brought back a lot of memories from home, all of those foods I used to eat all the time. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night.